why I was drawn towards that pattern. I'm pretty sure the vinyl wrap that I found at the thrift store was from the 90s. But I'm really happy with how these stools turned out. This was uh, complete by chance. Ended up finding these items in the thrift store and thought, mm, I could put a DIY together with them. So let me show you how I recovered these thrift store stools. So I found a pair of stools at the thrift store for $6 each and this vinyl wrap. And it's basically the exact same thing as contact paper. I swear it came from the 90s. I loved the pattern on it, so I thought I would use it. In addition, you'll need some spray paint and an X-Acto knife. So the stools were looking a little bit rough and they were also kind of wobbly too. So all I did was tighten up a bunch of those screws on the bottom of it and it made a world of a difference. They were no longer shaky. Clean up those stools and bring them outside to do some spray painting and this is unheard of that I was able to do this in February in Canada. Somehow I found a nice enough day. But I ended up using two cans of spray paint to spray paint the bars out and you're going to want to do nice short strokes that are quick because that way you won't have any pooling with the paint. So I did end up painting out the top of my stool as well only because when I pulled back my vinyl wrap I found out that part of it was clear and I wanted it to be white underneath instead of the wood showing through. So as you can see it's basically just a very large sticker and I'm sticking it onto the top of my stool here. Slow and steady wins the race here. Um, it is a little bit tricky to get the hang of but as you can see I'm pulling back the backing slowly as I'm pacing it down making sure that there are no air bubbles in between and this was a lot easier with the second stool that I did. Basically once you've stuck it all down we're just going to cut off any excess with the X-Acto knife. It's really quite easy to do and you're just going to trim along the edges and cut it all off. So um, just trim off your vinyl wrap and again I'll show you how I'm doing it on the other side. It's so simple to do. You can get a nice clean tight edge and that is all you have to do to revamp these thrift store stools. basic technique that worked great for those stools. You can use it on a number of different pieces of furniture. Uh, contact paper is in the stores everywhere. I've seen so many DIYs done with it and it really finishes it off quite nicely and it's pretty easy to use as well. And I mean, don't be afraid to go to the thrift store and pick up some items. Just make sure that the bones are good and then you can repurpose something and get really creative with it and redesign it for your house and do it for so much cheaper than going to the store and buying new. I'd love to see any of your thrifted DIYs. Feel free to send me some photos. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Janelle Steeper and then use the hashtag 2DIY4 if you're going to tag me in any of those photos. Let me know if you like this DIY, if you maybe want to see more DIYs like this. Of course, give me a like. Feel free to leave any comments below of ideas that you'd like to see me try in the near future. And subscribe because next Wednesday I will be back with a new DIY. Cheers. My neighbors are so loud. Yeah. Isaac, that's what? The walls are like paper in here. <laughs>